Thank you, uh, Chair. Thank you, Deputy Chair, um, and all the uh, uh, OCE representative countries. Uh, I would like shortly to present the key uh, aspects regarding the draft resolution for the Second Committee on Economic Affairs, Science, Technology, and Environment. Uh, this, uh, this draft resolution recognizes uh, recognize the rapid digital digitalization process that take place across the OSI countries, uh, which also generate in substantial changes in all spheres of life and carry many security implications, including in the economic and environment dimension. These resolutions also uh, emphasize the role of the national parliament in developing legislat legislative proposals with the aim on, of advancing sustainable development and security and implementing OCE commitment in the environment uh, and economic dimension. The resolution also recalled the OCEPA 2018 Berlin declarations, which again underline the advances in digitalization and which cause fundamental changes in all aspects of life and emphasize the role of parliamentarians in the modernization of national and international legislation and the legislative flexibility to adapt an ever-changing world uh, order. Also, the resolution recalled the adoption of the Un United Nations guiding principle on internal uh, displacement, as well as United Nations New York Declaration for Refugee and Migration, adopted in 2016, that aims to protect the human rights and all refugees and migrants, and gives also an impetus to negotiations for the adoption of Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration and Global Compact on Refugee in 2019. <clears throat> also recall the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and its Sustainable Development Goals that provide action plans to reach 169 targets to end poverty, protect the planet, ensure peace and prosperity with the goal to sustain uh, to have a much more sustainable, improving life for current and future generations. Recall also the OCPA 2018 Berlin Declaration, which urged parliaments to adopt legislation to establish and develop anti-corruption policies, including beneficial ownership transparency, and to promote best practices to ensure a free and competitive market, as well as enable sustainable and environmentally friendly economic growth. Acknowledging the human-induced climate change, which is disrupting weather systems, impacting national economies, costing lives and affected communities in countries around the world. Acknowledging that together with food security, water security is a growing issue for OC area with certain regions in particular that are very seriously prone to water crisis. Recalling also the Berlin Declaration, which stressed the importance of energy security as a crucial factor for economic growth and stability, and provided its support for regional effort to interconnect energy networks and other infrastructure projects enhancing energy security. These resolutions also urge national parliaments to develop legislative proposals to advance sustainable development and security and implementing OCE commitment in the economic and environment dimension, in particular preventing and combating corruption, money laundering, finance and terrorism, migration governments, human capital development, disaster risk reduction and fighting organized crime. Also, importance is emphasized with regards to the good governments and also development and, and expansion of renewable and sustainable energy with the ultimate aim to reach energy efficiency through clean energy sources. It also called OCE participate states to consider national necessary measures at the national and subnational levels to increase protection of energy network from natural and man-made disaster and in encourages OCE participating states to share best practices 
to strengthen the security and safety of energy network in the OCE region. It also urged parliaments and the government of the OC countries to facilitate the ratification of 2015 Paris Agreement on climate change and also to fulfill the obligations, obligation under this agreement. It also recommends that the OC participating states implement policies such as cap and trade schemes and carbon taxes that place a financial price and the COD emissions to both account for the environment harm that this pollution is causing and to the leverage economic incentives to move away from fossil fuels and towards clean energy. It also calls support and strength coordinations uh, in all levels to in, to, and coordination also with institutions to combat corruption, money laundering, finance of terrorism, drug trafficking and trafficking in human beings. It also encouraged parliaments of the OC countries uh, to work more to improve the legal framework for the migration with aim to increase the international cooperation, promoting integration, facilitating labor mobility, addressing drivers of migration such as poverty and conflict, establishing pathways for regular migration, promoting education opportunities and protecting the right for the family life. It also reiterates the support the, of the OCPA for the work of the Office of the Coordinator of the OCE Economic and Environment Activities and also welcomes the priority of the Office for 2019 and all the issues that were mentioned also. <coughs> it welcomes also the OCE plans to assist the incoming 2020 Albanian OCE Chairmanship in the preparation of the 28th Economic and Environment Forum. It also notes the ongoing work of the Silk Road initiatives aimed at promoting cooperation between the participating states, an initiative which is useful for achieving security, stability and prosperity of the OCE participating states. Acknowledge that the rapid digitalization process take place across the OC area and is generating substantial changes in all spheres of life and carries many security implications, including in the economic and environment dimension, and calls all national parliaments to keep abreast of developments in this field and respond appropriately with relevant legislation where the human beings remain at the center of the digitalization process. It stressed that corruption represents a global threat to peace and security and call the parliaments of the OC participating states to further develop preventive anti-corruption legislation with the aim of removing a major obstacle to sustainable development. It calls the parliaments of the OC participating state to consider the need to modernize national legislation in the fields of science and technology with the aim of solving the negative impact of climate change on the environment. Thank you very much.